What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Fortnite New Year's video and today we have a few bits to cover including the return of 50v50. But it comes back with changes which we will go into in a second. But before we do that people, I am giving away 2800 V-Bucks. To win, make sure you are subscribed to this channel and have that bell button turned on for notifications. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. I will contact winners via direct message. So good luck everybody. So let's get into it. 50v50 is returning. The news tab within Fortnite Battle Royale reveals this. It states, back and better than ever. Two teams are 50 battle it out with two bosses, increased loot spawns and massive forts. So what's changed? They plan on having it closer to the 50v50 trailer experience we saw. Split to start. Converge on battle, bus for each team, see all your squad mates on the map and more supply drops. So it definitely sounds more fun than the first. I look forward to trying it out for a second time. Not gonna lie, I really didn't enjoy the first one, but I will give it another chance for sure. The problem I had was it was nothing like how the trailer portrayed it to be. It's good to see the changes being made. I'm trying to lead it that way though, but we will see people. In a few hours from now, we will get a new update patch, patch version 3.5.0, which fixes many current issues and brings a couple of new things to the game. Firstly, it brings the new port of Fort, which I covered earlier. Since then, they have released a trailer of this thing, and as I expected, it will build the fort I predicted. So that's pretty cool. Check out the trailer right here. Also with this patch we will get changes to the guided missile. What these are at the moment we do not know, but Epic replied to a reddit post which you guys can see on screen now. CJ Leto 12 states, Personally I'd like to see more of a response to the recent concerns the community are having with the items you're putting in the game. For me the guided missile has made the game less fun, not because it's super powerful but because once someone targets you with it, you're sat building boxes around yourself until you can move, it slows the game down especially in squads and duos. Chris Atlas8 at Epic Games replied with, We want to provide more items that allow for many different playstyles and tactical play. All within the thematic world of uh, Fortnite, we're going to continue to iterate on the game and add new items with the hope that we will continue to create fun new gameplay experiences. As for the guided missile, lots of feedback has been valid and you will see adjustments made in the version 3.5 patch tomorrow. So I wonder what's actually changing here. Also with this patch, tomorrow we'll be able to see friendly traps, i.e. traps placed by teammates. About time this is happening, it really is. These are the important bug fixes coming with tomorrow's patch, they state. Floating weapon unable to shoot. Quickly cycling through weapons or switching to build mode can cause your weapon to appear to float or keep you from being able to shoot or build. Unable to build, players may encounter a temporary issue with building even with the correct amount of materials. Unable to edit structures, players may sometimes become locked out of editing friendly structures. Random controller vibrations, controllers are vibrating at times when they shouldn't. We all know this is not an actual problem, we all know this is a hint at Tilted Towers being destroyed. This has been proven. Visual problem with the rabbit radar outfit. Players may notice visual problems with their ears while playing. I actually noticed playing with my daughter. Them ears go all wild. Uh, I'll say that again. Players may notice visual problems with the ears while wearing the rabbit radar outfit. This is expected to fix problems with Raven 2. Haven't noticed anything on Raven though, but hey. General hitches during gameplay on console. The amount of longer hitches on console has steadily increased over the last few builds. As far as we can tell, the root cause is blocking loads and we are pursuing two approaches to improve the situation. Making sure we are not blocking on file IO and removing cases where we incorrectly are improving load speed. The latter is done by reordering our assets on HDD which requires shipping a large patch on PS4 and Xbox One. This is currently planned for version 3.5 so people expect a massive patch if you are on console with this update. And yes guys that's what we know about this patch so far. If anything else comes up I will have you guys covered here on my channel. On that note guys I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video leave a like it really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy these daily Fortnite videos be sure to subscribe and hopefully people I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand But you and I Will carry on We never get
getting round. 